We got something pretty special here, guys, for a number of reasons. Season 22, we have the showrunner coming back. Last time we saw it was season six. It's a 900 kinetic SMG. To obtain it, it's at the ritual table. Using witches Ingrams, they are the recovered Red War weapons. There's a couple weapons in there with showrunner, so it's gonna be random chance. But when it drops, the only thing you're looking for is kinetic trimmers. PVP, I'm not sure if we have a problem here, but I do know that it's very, very good in the Crucible. And as far as PVE, pretty much a go-to perk when it comes to kinetic weapons. We'll dive into all that. It's got the lightweight frame, so that's the good handling. Move faster when it's equipped. And the third column, Overflow, Well-Rounded, Grave Robber, Heating Up, Range Finder, Dynamic Sway Reduction. Final column, Kinetic Trimmers, Air Assault, Target Lock, Swashbuckler, Fragile Focus, Collective Action. I first want to talk about the Crucible because this is the first SMG that we've ever had with Kinetic Trimmers, and that alone is worth a pickup for you. It's going to be useful, period. But what was really intriguing is Kinetic Trimmers in the Crucible. Check this out. Kinetic Trimmers needs a certain amount of bullets to land, and then it's going to send out three waves of the Kinetic Trimmers, right? So historically, especially with enhanced Kinetic Trimmers, something like Chattering Bone could get there, but most of them just can't in the Crucible. The TTK is over. But how it works on an SMG, fire rate comes into play. The 900s are a 0.73 TTK with 10 crit, two body. Tier six to eight, you can go 11 crit for 0.67. Tier five and below, 10 crit, one body. So mostly it's gonna be about a 12 bullet kill, 0.73 TTK, and that's fast within the space. But kinetic trimmers on an SMG procs on the 12th bullet. That means a couple things. One, literally every engagement that you're up to land the TTK, kinetic trimmers is gonna proc. And on an SMG, it does 21 per wave. But with how the ease of use works out, and this is what's super cool, as the 12th bullet lands, it's instantaneous, a wave comes down. These SMGs deal 11 to the body. So if you land just at least 12 bullets, that final bullet, if the last bullet is a body shot, it's followed up instantly with the Kinetic Tremors 21 for 32 damage. If it's a headshot, which deals 18 to the head, it's like that final bullet's doing 39. It almost feels like final round from Destiny 1. But how the ease of use works, because we know that this wave comes out just instantly as that 12th bullet lands, it's actually a seven crit five body for its optimal TTK. There's a little bit of rounding, but it still works out. It's gonna be seven 18s, five 11s, and that last 11 is 30, 31 damage. But since it procs on 12 bullets always, that means at a distance, if you're able to land shots, you get that immediate chunk damage of 21. And the crit ratio matters. You only need seven crits, but you're just spraying them down anyway at 900 RPM. It's gonna be right around the TTK almost every time. So that's what you can take away. It's almost kind of like target lock, but it's a very consistent TTK. So I started messing with some things. At first, the role I got was small bore ricochet round stability masterwork, well-rounded kinetic tremors. We also have the new foundry Nadir Focus. Sustained fire increases accuracy and range. So that helps out a roll like this. I started going on strand with Stratarachne, double charges, getting well-rounded times two. And then I would also drop a tangle. Well, since it always procs if I land 12 bullets, if I land the TTK, I drop a tangle after. Well, Kinetic Tremors takes out the tangle. Then I hadn't unlocked it yet. The new strand aspect for Hunter, Whirling Maelstorm, destroying a tangle releases a violent weave of strand fibers. It slowly moves, seeks out, does five ticks per damage fast, it shreds. So not only after getting the kill with the Kinetic Tremors, it would proc that and that would start seeking and then I can just go again with the SMG. But I've also had a couple times where players are close together, the Kinetic Tremors will collateral them. This is a very interesting weapon. Immortal has a 0.75 TTK for nine crit, one body tier eight to 10. 0.67, nine crits tier three and under. But of course, target lock, nine straight crits, 0.67. But if it takes a 10th bullet, like this thing matches it. It's crazy. I will say this, I ended up putting a target adjuster on mine and I run double targeting. The aim assist is at 64, range is at 40 base. And then of course I can get it up with well-rounded. But as a controller player, it loses rotational stickiness. Aim assist, bad once it gets past fall off. So I expect MNK players to do even better with this. But in the range, like even just spamming body shots between the recoil and you flinch, you're gonna hit some crits. Like this thing is very consistent with that 0.7-ish TTK. And again, if you land on a crit, it's 39 damage. Like I said, it's almost like final round, like target lock. But on an SMG, kinetic trimmers in the crucible, it works and it works very well. Then I started to have a little fun with something like chromatic fire. Just boom the area. So yes, as I said kind of earlier, I don't know if we have an issue here. This is very strong, but I think what holds it back, more so for controller players, 
is the loss of rotational stickiness and aim assist and accuracy. It's not hitting like Shyara, like Immortal, some of the other strong SMGs, but within its range, very consistent, very deadly. Well-rounded works, especially for something like Strand, but ideally, MK or controller, it would be dynamic sway reduction. And that is because of the accuracy help. You get a little bit of stability. It ramps up fast because it's 900 RPM. You pair that with the origin trait, gaining accuracy and range, it'd be dynamic sway kinetic tremors or heating up. And even though it's not a big bad anymore, rangefinder works on this thing because that helps accuracy, that helps stability. You want as most range as you want. You can put on a counterbalance mod to get it to 100 off of base. It's recoil starts out at 91. Really, really good, really, really interesting. Now, as far as PVE, it's adding another tool in your arsenal of kinetic tremors. I have them all. I routinely use the kinetic tremor sniper and I made a video on that. Enhanced Kinetic Tremors is just two sniper shots, and then rewire rounds, you never have to reload. So when I'm doing damage, I switch to it, shoot two shots, switch to my heavy weapon. When it's done doing the Kinetic Tremors, I switch back. It's a really clean damage loop. Battle Scar has the shoot to loot Kinetic Tremors. It's awesome. Hung Jury. But with this, you also need to realize and keep in mind, SMGs come up fairly routinely when it comes to champions, and Kinetic Tremors on like an anti-barrier shreds them. And SMGs in general do great in PvE, so there's no reason why you wouldn't want it for there. And because of that, and from what I saw in the Crucible, vault space is getting very slim. Power creep's a real thing, but this thing is special. I encourage you to try to get one. This season, we seem to be showering in loot, giving us a whole bunch of Ingrams, giving us red borders here and there, but, but this being an RNG drop, you're gonna have a lot of chances to try to obtain it. It does have the other origin trait, Vanguard's Vindication. Final blows of this weapon grant a small amount of health. You could do that for PvE. And looking at that side, Overflow Kinetic Tremors probably going to be your pound for pound best bet. But you're using it for Kinetic Tremors, so anything works. And how I feel about it, even like Grave Robber, what I would encourage you to do is to get it to drop with Kinetic Tremors. That's all that matters. If you get a dud perk for it, such as Grave Robber, not saying Grave Robber is bad, but it's not ideal with what else is there, try it out, see if you like it. I think that you will. If worst comes to worst, you at least have that role. But even in PvP, if you were to get Overflow Kinetic Tremors, run it with a sniper, getting over 70 shots in the mag is always a good thing. Very surprising weapon. I'm at a point when Kinetic Tremor shows up on anything I want it, but how it operates in the Crucible is the most surprising thing to me. I've talked to a lot of people and most feel that just SMGs in general are still kind of out of band, no matter the range stat. And this thing with its 40 range that I have, I get it up a little bit higher with well-rounded, it's putting in work. So during the season, as you're playing, throw a couple of them Ingrams into Red War, see what you come up with. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. Let's talk about the showrunner down below. Are there any other roles that you're liking? And if you have kinetic trimmers, tell us about it. Thank you for watching. And until the next one, I am Cool Guy.